Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is the second video in the honeycomb brioche um, videos <laughs> and I promised to do one in the round and this is um, this is the one um, in the round. It's, um, it looks pretty much the same as the one in the flat as you can see here. This one is in bulkier yarn. Um, it's very easy to knit. You could get confused because you're looking at these bumps and you're thinking, oh, what have I done wrong? Look, why do I have pearl bumps on this row? And I'm not supposed to, but you are. Don't worry. Once you finish this row, you won't see the pearl bumps anymore. Now, this has a little bit of a twist because it's uh, knitted in the round. So for the brioche in the flat, we just have a two row repeat, which is, um, and we knit every row. But this one, we have to do some purling as well. As um, the same as the flat one is quite squishy, is dense, uh, nice insulator would be nice as a hat, would be nice as a um, cowl, would be nice as mittens, even socks or slippers. It's just adorable the way it looks, I love it. And it would be nice as sleeves, uh, like big bell sleeves for a, for a jumper, that would work nice as well. So. When you start your brioche stitch, you're looking at your stitches and you're thinking, oh my goodness, this is going to be so small. I won't be able to, to wear it because it's going to be so small. That's why it's important that you follow a pattern with the right gauge. Um, because uh, I've got here 40 stitches and look how big it is. Usually with 40 stitches, um, you can knit, um, a pair of mittens and they fit perfectly but look we've definitely got extra um, extra fabric here because it creates more fabric um, it's quite stretchy as you can see so when you cast on uh, you cast on your um, multiple of two stitches and uh, you work a pearl row that's your setup row uh, unlike our working in the flat which was a knit row for this one we work a pearl row because we only work on the front of the work as a spiral so once you've done your pearl row this is this is the next row that you do and if you were if you are knitting your second row after the setup row you would go by um, knit one, knit one below, knit one, knit one below. Now, if you're high, higher up in your work and you put it down and you don't remember what um, row you what round you're at, this is how you this is how you know. So you're at the beginning of your round, and you see that your furl, your first pearl has two wraps. One, two. Can you see? So this this is my first pearl and it's got two wraps, which means that one, that stitch, I'm just going to knit. The next stitch has only, it just looks like a normal pearl stitch. So what I want to do with that one is knit one underneath, knit one below. So I don't go normally like this in my stitch. I go below in the V and just knit it like that. The next one again, it's got two wraps, which is which I'm just going to knit normally through the back, I usually do. The next one, knit one below. Knit one normal, knit one below. Knit one normal, knit one below. Knit one normal, knit one below. So we're going to do that all around. Um, that was knit one below, knit one normal, these needles that I'm using are my, oh, what are they called? Uh, yes, flexi flips. And I love them, but when I've done the, when I've done the review on them, I said because I knit combination, I'm a combination knitter and I knit holding the needle with the whole of my palm, I kind of wish they were longer. And they, they emailed me and they said they're working on longer tips for them 
So I have to double check and see that they've got it. They've got them because I surely would use longer ones because this one is kind of like flips like that and it kind of makes me a bit uncomfortable. But they still work. I still like them. So knit one, knit one below, knit one, knit one below, one, knit one below. On below so even if you forget where you're at you just look at your work and you can read where you are this stitch has two wraps which I'm going to just plainly knit this one has only one wrap at the bottom one per bump I'm just going to knit it in the stitch below and that's how you know where you're at knit one below knit one knit one below knit one You can stretch it. If you can't see where you need to go for that under stitch, you just stretch it and knit one. So that was um, would be the second row if you just started, or it would be um, your first row um, or your knit row. And now we need to do a purl row because obviously we're working in the spiral. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to Pearl, one, pearl, we're going to do a pearl stitch and then a pearl with a wrap stitch and I'll show you what that means. So the first stitch, which is a normal stitch, you can see it, it's just a normal knit stitch. I'm going to bring my yarn forward and I'm just <clears throat> going to pearl it normally. Pearl. And then my next stitch has this kind of like a scarf around it. I don't know how, you, how, how to call it because it's got two, two wraps on the back. Let me see if I can show it to you. So it's got, <clears throat> oh, sorry. Can you see, is, this is my stitch, but behind it, you've got this, this stitch, stitch, stitch. I can't talk today. It's got this wrap behind the back of it. So it would be like a scarf. And what we want to do is pick up that um, scarf put it on my needle from back to front with the yarn in the front and purl them together. That's what we're gonna do. The next stitch we just purl and then we get to the next stitch that has one of those scarves. So pick that loop, put it on the needle and purl it. The next one, just purl it normally. Get the one with the scarf, pick up that scarf, put it on the needle and Pearl it. So that's how we go around for the pearl um, round of this honeycomb brioche in the round. How many times can I say the round? I don't know. But I want to get to the end of the round. <laughs> there we go again. And show you what we do in the next, um, in the next step. Because it's the same as the previous round where you you have to look where you're at in your work and read your work sometimes you can't really see that scarf just want to pick it up without mistake sometimes it's not as clear here we go okay turn to the other side so when you see your work that you've got knit that the previous uh, row was a knit row you know that the next the one that you're about to do next is a pearl row so it's a knit row then a pearl row and then a knit row and then a pearl row that's how we work this stitch in the round get the scarf pearl it Pick up the scarf and pearl it. It's a bit hard to see it without having your yarn <coughs> because you have your yarn in the front of you. You can yarn back, pick it up. Just be sure that you, you take the right one and then put it on. A 
normal stitch. We got this scarf. Pull it. Pick up this scarf. Pull it. Pick up the scarf and pull it. And we're slowly getting to the end. Okay? And pull it. Okay, so now let's say you put your work down and you forget about it for a couple of weeks, no, <laughs> a couple of hours or however long your break is and you pick it up and you say, oh my goodness, what have I done wrong? Why do I have this kind of uh, pearls on my, on my work? Because I must have worked a, a bad row or something, but no, you, you haven't. That's a good one. That's how you know when you have these pearl bumps up here, that's how you know the next round is going to be a knit round. So you're going to pick up where you left off and have a look at your work. <clears throat> and you see the first stitch you've got is, is a normal pearl stitch and you've got this one pearl bump here. And you know now that that one is going to be a knit one below. Always. Then you see the second one has two pearl bumps, which means it's one of those funny wrap stitches, so you're just going to knit it. The next one is a normal pearl stitch, so that means I'm going to knit one below. Knit one. Knit one below, knit one. Knit one below, knit one. That's how we're going to go around this stitch. And when you end up to, you finish your round and you end up here, you look at your first stitch here and you say, oh, will you look at this? This stitch looks like it's got a scarf around its neck. Um, I hope you can see it. That's the scarf, that one there, that's the scarf. Oh, it looks like my first stitch has got a scarf around its neck, which means you're gonna pick up that scarf, put it on your left needle and purl it. So yeah, that is the brioche uh, stitch in the round. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is that um, when you work it in the round, you will get this, um, you can see where you switch from round to round. So you get this, um, a little bit of a weird looking line. Um, it's up to you. You can knit in the front and seam it, or you can work it like this and leave it with this, that, which looks like a seam, I'd say. I, it really doesn't, it doesn't upset me at all. I don't mind having it. That could be the back of my hat or the back of my cowl. It looks perfectly fine to me. Um, so I, I'm, I'm not bothered about it, but I just wanted to show you that you do get this in it um, when you switch from round to round. But yeah, that is the honeycomb brioche stitch in the round. And uh, if you check the description down below, I will give you a link of the video for the honeycomb brioche in the flat, which is this one. Um, it's very, very simple, very stretchy, very squishy. You can need it as a scarf or a hat or whatever you want. But I hope you enjoy it. Um, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.